What's up, Weld2 family? It's Isaac once again. In today's video, we will be welding with the MTS 275 welding machine. Now, we will be welding on this 10 inch Schedule 80 pipe. Now, previously, I did a video on the leg wire welding technique. Now, this is the same pipe, it already has a root in it. All I'm going to do is throw the hot pass with, with a 70S2 wire and I'm going to fill it up with flux core and cap it. Today's video is sponsored by Everlast and we'll hear more about them later on in the show. All right guys, now I'm going to set up my machine for TIG. Right now it's in the stick, so let me switch it over to TIG. So I'm basically going to come up here, flux core, MIG aluminum, MIG steel, and right here where it says TIG steel and stainless, that's where I want it. You want to make sure that your pulse, your pulse is on, on the off position. Um, also, since, it, since I'm not welding on any stainless, I don't want any post flow or pre flow. If I was, I'd probably set it up for about two seconds post flow. That's pretty much it. I want to do my hot pass at 200 amps. I like to weld pretty hot, so are you guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do my hot pass. Now, I'm going to be running at 200 amps with the 70S2 wire 1.8. Now, there's three different ways you can run your hot pass from the bottom. Some guys like, some guys like doing it backwards because sometimes you might be in a tight position where you can't get underneath the pipe and you have to. You have to. Well, they're like this. You have to come from the bottom and have it backwards. You're not always going to be able to lay down under the pipe like this and be like this. You know? So you have to, have to practice learning how to walk the cup backwards. Like this. It's just getting you ready to be out in the field in them tight spots. The other way you do it, you can do it, is doing it sideways. Having the, the torch sideways, like this. That's the second way. Like that. And the third way is the conventional way that usually everybody does it. That's when they have their torch all the way you know, like this. And they just grab it like this. For me, this way is the most tiring way to do it. My way, I like to do it backwards, like this, or sideways, like this. I'm finna stop right here. All right guys, so now I did my hot pass. Now, since I'm running flux core after this, uh, you wanna run two hot passes. The reason for that, because if you just do 
uh, do one hot pass, you run the chances of blowing through with that flux core because that flux core likes to dig in a lot. So make sure you do two hot passes before you do your flux core. Now, I'm going to turn my ants for my second hot pass. Um, I'm going to turn it up to about, eh, let's just try, let's try 245 for my hot, for my second hot pass. For demo purposes, I'm only going to be welding uh, half of the pipe. The other half, you basically weld it the exact same way. But if I was to do the whole thing, it's just going to be a very, very long video. So I'm just doing half. So now I'm getting, I'm getting ready to run my flux core. So now I gotta connect my 7525. Basically my argon goes right here where it says TIG. 7525 goes right at the bottom where it says MIG. Tighten it up. Ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Now let me come, come over here and switch my machine to the flux core. Come over here, put the arrow down, come down, come down. Right here where it says flux core, that's where you want it, flux core. Okay, now, for my settings, I'm gonna put my burn back. Let's put it all the way up to two seconds. Um, basically, the burn back means every time I stop welding with my flux core, it's the tip of the wire will never have a bob, will always be ready to go, so you don't ever have to cut it off. Um, I'm gonna run my, I'm gonna run my wire speed at 300, and I'm gonna run my volts at 26.1. All right, guys. So now I'm getting ready to do my flux core pass. Now, whenever you run flux core, you want to make sure you run it just like almost similar to a stick rod. You want to keep your your nozzle at 90 degrees, 90 degrees. 90 degrees the whole way through, just like this. I like to grab it like this and go side to side, 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 side to side. With my index finger, index finger, I put it right here and I basically go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Just like this. You want to make sure you stay at 90 degrees with the pipe. If you change your degrees, you're going to end up getting a lot of bug shots. That's something you don't want. All right, I'm finna stop because I'm getting uncomfortable. Okay, so with flux core, you want to make sure you go wall to wall. Make sure you go to one wall, let that puddle fuse to the one side and come back to the other side and make sure that puddle hits the other side. You don't want to trap any slag, so you want to make sure that you're going wall to wall. All right guys, so if you pay close attention, right here is where I have my restart. It's kind of lumpy. You want to make sure that you grind down your restarts because usually you're going to be bulky. Now if you don't grind them down, you, you can run the risk of trapping slag on the corners or getting lack of fusion. So make sure you grind that down. Okay, right here. Here like that. There you go. Just like that. Now I have a flat surface. Now I can run my second pass. 
All right, guys, so now that was my first flux core pass. I'm gonna do my second one. For my second one, I'm gonna continue to do another weave. I'm gonna do another big weave. I'm about to stop. Boom. Where's that camera over here? All right, guys, that's my second pass right here. Ran it all the way from six o'clock to about three o'clock. And this is my, let's see that slag peel. Look at that slag peel. Oh. Woo! Whenever you weld flux core, in order to get a good weld, you have to be comfortable. Body position is everything. It's key to an excellent weld. When I weld flux core, you know, you want to make sure that you do a dry run, you know, whenever you're welding at six o'clock, you want to do a dry run and make sure you're able to come up all the way without getting in a bind. So the way I like to do it, my body position, I like to always keep my elbow pointing up. Elbow pointing up, gun at 90 degrees. And as I'm coming up, as I'm coming up, my elbow starts pointing down. like this at six o'clock you start up with your elbow pointing up as you come around your elbow starts coming down very important Right here I got a little dingleberry. There ain't no problem, we just grind that down. All right guys, so that was my second fill with flux core. I am now going to start filling up with two stringer beads. So I'm gonna turn down my wire amperage. Right now I had it at 300. That was running pretty good. But I'm gonna turn it down to about, turn my wire speed down to, let's just try, let's try, 250. 250 wire speed and I'm gonna keep the volts at 26. Alright guys, I'm gonna do my, this will be my third fill. Third fill. Ah, mother I got a big spike in my All right guys, so now I have my pipe nice and flush. Now I'm gonna do a 3B cap. I turned down my wire speed to 245 and I kept my bolts, and I changed my bolts to 25.5. Hey guys, if you're digging how the Lightning MTS 275 is welding and you wanna add it to your arsenal, you can pick one up at the link down below in the description. Another thing, whenever you're welding at the bottom, you don't really want to start just at 6 o'clock. You want to start a little bit back, maybe by 5 o'clock. So when, by the time you get to 6 o'clock, your welds already nice and spread out. If you start at 6 o'clock right in the dead bottom, more than likely it's going to uh, build up on you. The metal's going to build up on you and the weld's going to get very bulky. And you're going to have to end up grinding a lot. Right on. Woohoo! You really want to shoot to be a 16 below flush. Flush core likes to build up a lot, and if you're flush flush and you cap it while you're flush and not a 16 under, 
more than likely your cap is gonna look very, very built up. So make sure you keep it a 16 below flush before you cap it. All right guys, so there you have it, how to do a hot pass with TIG and fill in the 5G position using flux core and the 275 Air Everlast welding machine. Make sure you hit the like and subscription button. And thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Take it out, man.